So I'm sitting here in a little chapel, um, and I came here sort of not feeling very good and, and trying to pray, but I walk into chapels and I sort of think I've got to pray in a certain way. It's, you know, it looks like a chapel. I'll show you it. I'll turn things around. You know, there's like religious stuff. It's beautiful and it sort of looks human and homely, but it's still kind of, you know, it's a religious space. And I think I've got to act a certain way. And um, every so often I manage to sort of cut through all that or God cuts through all that or whatever. And underneath there, I have to remember, no, this is the source of everything I've ever liked that I'm talking to. The source of enthusiasm, right? The source of joy, the source of my, my friendship with my friends, you know, um, the love I have for my family, walking a dog, enjoying yourself, everything that's beautiful and uplifting and gives life and golden, riding my bright bike with a brother, with my brothers when I was young, you know, um, why I find the film Fletch funny. Do you know what I mean? Why, I don't know, why I like certain bits of music, all poetry, everything that's good and bright and has taught me all sorts of lessons throughout life about life itself. Everything that's beautiful, you know, and growing. That's what I'm talking to. I'm not talking to an austere, dead image of a God who's blown a bubble which is reality and now has nothing to do with it that bubble's just flowing off by itself i heard someone put it like that one time it's not what i'm talking to i'm not talking to a disinterested what was it that film said like a an, something like a landlord who's not there absentee landlord you know like ugh. it's like a horrible idea and that's not who I'm talking to. And I can very easily walk into chapels and think I have to pray in a certain way. And I'm holding myself back, right? Because I, I, I just think, and then I just remember that, no, hold on, remember who you're talking to. I'm not talking to an enemy. I'm not talking to someone who's there sternly watching me. I'm talking to the, the person who wants me well more than I want to be well. Who wants me excited by life more than I want to be excited by life. The source of my enthusiasm and inspiration, hopefully, Hopefully, I may be wrong, but I think this is the point, you know, that I'm, I'm talking to, I'm trying to get in touch with the source of life. Um, not sort of some, I don't know, I moved my camera up here, I got a new camera, it's tiny, it's brilliant. I'm not talking to someone who is just out there sort of assessing my performance and behind this cold, distant, I don't know, whatever. Um, and when I do that, when I remember this is a friend I'm talking to, this is someone who wants the best for me. Because when times get tough, I can very quickly become like angry and start blaming God. It's, it's, it's a trick. I think it's a trick. Um, in those times when today, like I feel angry, I don't even know why. I've got loads of anger in me. I'm a bit depressed. I've got pain. I'm physically not well. I'm confused about loads of things which are happening. I don't know what's going on. Someone was rude to me today and nasty and triggered my ego. And I want to get revenge <laughs> do you know what I mean I'm stuck in a lot of really traps and at times like this I need to it's really helpful for me that there is this belief that there's something absolutely golden and beautiful that lives in me and will help me out of these traps that I can just go I don't know what to do with any of this stuff and a lot of the time I can say that but there's no real hope for it I don't know what to do but sometimes like now, I get that memory that God is for me, you know, that God wants me well, more than I want to be well. God wants me to, to sail through these situations and be free, despite all the trouble there is in the world. And there's a lot of trouble, right? Things go wrong constantly. People are mean and all sorts of stuff happens. But this is a God who wants me, me, personally, Tom, who knows me, personally. And I know people say that and I sort of think, really? But when I get the sense of that, really get the sense that God knows me personally and is sort of knows my trouble, knows my loneliness, knows my, I wish I had this, my regrets, things I've done wrong in life. At the moment I'm waking up thinking about things I've done wrong and regrets and things I should have done and, oh, and I've got all these feelings. And I still think I'm alone with it and I've failed and I should have done this and I should have done that. And when I really have that belief, even for a moment, that God knows this stuff, really knows this stuff about me and knows the struggle and, and it kind of empathizes with me about loneliness and it's not meant to be like that. I've done a lot of things in my life which have sort of led to me, you know, sort of perpetuating difficult things in my life. Everyone has, everyone has. How do we get out of that? 
I don't know, it's just lovely to, and I do know, I'm sort of working at that, but it's just, I, I don't, I'm not explaining this very well. It's lovely to believe that there's someone who's empathizing with me, and that person, that God, is good. He's not cold, he's not heartless, he's not remote, and you may say, well, why didn't you change it then? Ah, there's answers for that one. And I can turn on God, but I, at this point, I'm not. For some reason, normally I do throughout my life. At this point, I'm very glad that for some reason, I'm not. I'm not blaming God for it this time. I'm not angry that he's not getting rid of the sickness or something. Although I do believe in healing completely. I'm not angry. I don't know how better to describe that. I sort of still have this idea that, no, no, God's, the, God's with me. God's a friend. God's the source of life. Get in touch with God. Don't be frightened of chapels. Don't be frightened of a church. You know, a church is made for you. You're welcome. We're welcome with God. He's a friend of ours, a really good friend. It's a lovely thought and it's the basis of everything because once I really believe that, oh, I've got to move this again. The camera keeps creeping up. Once I believe that, that God's kind of my friend and with me, the line of communication is automatically open from my side. I'm really talking to God at that point because I won't talk to anyone I'm scared of or I think is disinterested. I like my friends because I think they actually like me, you know? So I've, sometimes I argue with someone about this, you know, he says that does God loves you, but he doesn't have to like you. I, I kind of, I guess that's just language and what we understand. To me, it's really important to understand that God likes us. He likes me. Not loves me because he has to, but he actually likes me. He likes you. It's, it's a wonderful thought, which means, because if someone, I really believe that person likes me, not just loves me because they love all of us, you know, but he doesn't actually like us. Once I believe he likes me, I want to talk to him. I want to tell him what's happened and what help I need. And I think he understands, not as going, oh my God, that's beneath me. That's beneath me. Why are you telling me this stuff? Grow up. Come on, get holy. You should be further along than this. Why are you even telling me this nonsense? If I believe that, I won't, I won't talk to him. Once I believe he likes me and is for me and wants to help me out, all these traps I find myself in, you know, either by the actions of others or my own stupidity, he wants to help me out of it. Like a little kid, and I'm a friend. He's a friend of mine. It's a wonderful thought. It's a wonderful thought. Just to have that thought before any solutions presented itself, just not to feel alone with it, is, is an amazingly beautiful thing. So I pray that we all find that idea that God is really good and really likes us and is with us. And that channel of help is at least open. There's a beginning, you know? Just thought I'd share that. There we go. Hope you're well.